Well, I've spent basically all of today just being distracted. Uh, most, mostly playing pinball. It's like, I, I, I played some pinball. Then I went to go get food. And I played a bit of TFT. Which I still don't know how I feel about the variants on the set that have been released. I need to play more of it to find out. Then I played more pinball. <laughs> Did some other stuff. Played some more pinball. Because like I'd be watching something and I'm just like, I can do something while I'm watching this. I've got two monitors. It's the power of having two monitors. Uh, and yeah, kept going back to pinball. Because I like pinball. Deal with it. Uh, I think the inspiration was the one of the trailers we've had recently, which I wish I had both the space and the money to buy one, but the, the, the digital pinball table that is using the Zen Pinball, the Zen Studios uh, Marvel Pinball uh, tables, but as an actual pinball machine, which sounds fantastic. I just don't know where I'd put it and don't have an income. And I can't imagine that being cheap, especially as it's probably an American company, which means I'd have to get it shipped here. And that's that's even more of a pain in the ass. Anyway, long rambly intro aside, let's actually get in to today's days. We start today's days with a fairly basic one, National Corn on the Cob Day. I like corn. Corn's good. I like corn on the cob. I like corn, like mini sweet corn. I like... I don't, I, I like corn on pizza, but like just loose corn is odd. And yes, corn on pizza, I, my go-to pizza at Pizza Hut was like ham and sweet corn. I know it's weird, but that was sort of my go-to. Where I'd get like, I'd get something and then go to the salad bar because it's Pizza Hut and you get salad bar for free. And I just put sweet corn on it as well because I'm like, why not? Now all I get from the salad bar is the is bacon bits, <laughs> basically. I don't go Pizza Hut very often anymore. Uh, because I rather order pizza from other places. Although I do have a pizza Hut voucher to spend. And also because I think they stopped doing the cheesesteak pizza, which was like the one thing, reason, that was actually like, yes, no, let's do Pizza Hut because they have this special kind of pizza. I should check if they have, I should check if they deliver here and if I can use that uh, thing online because I might do. Also, because it's probably due to run out soon, as I got it from my birthday last year, and it says it's, well, and the thing says on it, it lasts a year, so. Should look into that before I have to. Then again, I think I can claim expertional, like, uh, special, I can, uh, exorbitant circumstances, considering you've been closed for the past three or four months. Next up is National German Chocolate Cake Day, which is not German. I don't know why it's called it, it's inherently American. Like, I read German Chocolate Cake Day and I was like, so what, like Black Forest, which is German, because it's f comes from the Black Forest in Germany. I think it's in Germany, it's happened in Germany, or I, I don't know geography, I've been over this. But, I, I, but my brain goes, is that Germany? And then, but no, it's apparently a type of cake called a chocolate German cake that is American. And I don't know what's in it, the picture seemed like it had some sort of nut, I can't couldn't tell if it was like a pecan or a walnut or what. Then again, I don't know all nuts by visuals alone. Like some of them are obvious, like <laughs> cashews are pretty obvious. Pistachios are pretty obvious. I'd say Brazil nuts as well, pretty pretty obvious, but then there's a bunch of them that are just sort of, al almonds as well, almonds are pretty distinct, but some, then you're just like, that 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 is a nut. I don't know, I don't care either. I don't care to look into it. It's what it is. Finally, National Making Life Beautiful Day. Reading the description almost sounds like it's describing MLMs, but I'm pretty sure that's not the intent. In fact, I'm not 100% sure what the intent is, because it's supposed to be, it's, you know, celebration of people that, or things that make life better. Because beauty, beauty is, I think, I think, it's not taking beautiful. It's not taking the word beautiful purely to be as an aesthetic thing. I think, which is good because beauty is not pure aesthetics. Yeah, beauty. They say beauty is in the eye of the holder, holder because, yeah, beauty is a very, you know, opinionated thing. There's things I don't like that you'll like. There's things you'll like that I think is weird. You know. Everyone has their own things that they like, things that they find beautiful, things that they find disgusting, you know, whatever. Like, 
and that's fine. This is fine. It's like, it's, it's, I think it's a vine, isn't it? It's like, stop kink shaming me. Kink shaming is my kink. And I was like, that's, that's fine. All of those things are fine and valid and yes, positive, positive messages. We're all about positive messages here. All of these things are fine and valid. You, you do you. It's, it's one of our mottos here, I think. Just, yeah. You do you. You are, you are most likely valid. It's like, I think the one thing I've established that makes you not valid is, you know, questioning the validity of other people, basically. Yeah, rest it, racist, sexist, homophobes, the list goes on, but anyone who's discriminatory is not, not valid. You're not valid. It's just, it's not a valid argument. Give me a reason why you should, why you think that argument is valid, and I will tell you why you're fucking wrong. I think anyone else can agree with that statement. It's like... Like, well, you, you, you oppose gay marriage. Why? It's not natural. Marriage isn't natural! It's Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. That's, that's a fiction story. As a god, I can, I know this for certain. The world is billions of years older than that. I'm now trying to think of other, I mean, just, yeah, like, racial discrimination of cops, like, where, where do you get off in explaining that? Like, there was a clip someone put online of someone who was stopped because they're not from the area and because they're black. And they kept, and the guy was trying to call a police officer out for this and he was basically like, no, 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 I'm not, I'm not racist. But we have had some people who happen to be black around here. And I'm like, oh, I don't, I don't believe you. <laughs> I don't, I don't think anyone who's watching this video believes you that that just happens to be a coincidence that exists. It's like, yeah, you know, so we're looking, we're looking for some people who have been dealing drugs, who have been coming from out of town, which you are, that ha that we know to be black. It's it's like it's it is it, it feels aggressively ma passive voice, even though it was very much not passive voice. Although I think it would have been better if it was said in passive voice. Just I I did no it just I, no it's not quite that yeah. It's trying to be, def it's very defensive sounding. <laughs> but, you know, that, that's it, that's the thing. It's like, you kind of know you're wrong. <laughs> you know you're, you're, like, part of you knows you're wrong because you feel the need to be defensive. You know, that's, that's, that's not necessarily psychology 101, but it's pretty, it's pretty, like, early on in things you realize when you start paying attention to the human existence. Is there's a level of like, there's a level of defensiveness which is actual defensiveness and there's a point where it's like, no, I know I'm wrong, but I have to be defensive about this. Or I can't, I don't, you know, plausible deniability. I don't, I don't know where this is going, so I'm gonna wrap up. Join the flock and subscribe. I think it's all in camera, actually. I think it might be slightly cut off, but anyway. Join the flock and subscribe. Uh, share this and all the videos and the playlist, preferably. Actually, just this video was fun. But the playlist if you want to be real nice, because I get no promotion from YouTube and Google. They have one job and they can't do it. It's very disappointing. Then again, they they can't they are a constant source of disappointment, I think. Like I constantly keep getting adverts for various betting sites and I keep telling Google that they are completely irrelevant to me, but hey ho, we keep going. And I hope it's not doing it because like, oh you're interacting with these. No, I'm actively telling you to stop showing it to me. That's not interaction. It's like, as much of an asshole Anisian was, he's got a point that the dislike button is just as much of, you know, algorithmically just does just as much as the uh, the like button. Because it's just like, it's still interaction and YouTube doesn't know the difference between positive and negative. But interaction is literally the epitome of there's no such thing as bad publicity. But yes, embrace the chaos. It is everything. It is the everything. Just embrace the chaos. I don't know why I keep feeling the need to validate that. Just embrace the chaos and change the world because it needs to be changed. That I do. I, that's not even me validating it. That's just a statement. It needs to be changed. The world's awful. It's not awful. It's getting better. We're trying. We're trying. People are really trying and I appreciate it. I will see everyone tomorrow. Uh, bye bye. We're keeping the same hand.